she is high in social emotional intelligence you not so much you're high in logic so she is high in social and emotional needs you not so much I mean there's nothing wrong with this <clears throat> she's just doing the way she's wired you're doing the way you you don't require a whole lot of uh, talk or discussion or exploration about feelings you're probably not a super social person unless it's work related so we we have this dilemma because you can imagine because you you are more task oriented more uh, involved with uh, facts, figures, objects, task completion, where she is more of a people person. So you can see why we have this problem. That doesn't mean anybody did anything wrong. But it does cause a problem in the relationship. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. So uh, one of the main things that we're trying to accomplish is to, in, my, in my book is to reduce your relationship stress. You, the guys, I want to reduce your relationship stress. How can I do that? Open up the channels of communication because if she were here, she would say the number one problem is he doesn't provide emotional reciprocity and we can't talk about things, especially the difficult stuff. He has a meltdown or a shutdown or some variation thereof and we can never uh, pro solve the problems. And so the problems pile up, pile up, pile up. They're in the closet this whole time and they're not going anywhere. They're still in there uh, breathing and growing. They, in other words, they get worse as time goes on. So if you have something that's three years old and then she brings it up again, it's going to be a lot worse than if you'd have dealt with it three years ago. Her main complaint might also be he doesn't listen. So sometimes he, and I'm just speaking in generalities here, he is listening or he's pretending like he's listening, but he's not fully hearing everything. And we use the uh, percentage of maybe you only heard 80% of the 80% he heard, maybe didn't quite understand all of that, and was afraid to ask for clarification for fear he'd get his head bit off. So now he's down to 70% of comprehension. And then of the 70% that he understood, he only retained 50% of it. This could be because she provided too much data. You had brain overload and maybe were anxious as she was throwing words at you, and so you didn't retain some of these things. And then of the portion that you did retain, for whatever reason, maybe you didn't implement because maybe you just weren't quite sure what you were supposed to do or supposed to say. Most often, your version of meltdown or shutdown is a result of heightened anxiety. She can and has been abrasive in her approach. She had a good message, but her delivery, it wasn't tailored to a neurodiverse communication style. If she doesn't get this piece, that she's going to have to keep it short and simple and concrete and non-accusatory, then she's going to have to just continue to do it her way, which you then will continue to have anxiety over her message delivery, and the whole thing will just short-circuit.